Hey, uh, so welcome everybody to the Brim overview. So my name is Navneet Bal. So I'm going to present a, a quick or a dive into what the Brim uh, solution is from SAP. Brim stands for Billing and Revenue Innovation Management. Before we start, like you know, I just wanted to let everybody know about my Brim journey. It's kind of interesting because I feel that I have grown as in my career along with Brim. So I started off like in my career, uh, my first 10 years I spent uh, in the telecom billing and CRM space. So I was based in a city out of uh, India, south part of India called as Hyderabad. Hyderabad is interesting that uh, it has a deep connection with SAP. Most of the SAP people I know, like you know, who are who have come from India and who work in SAP, have uh, cut their teeth in Hyderabad, uh, learning SAP over here. But uh, I never learned SAP there. I was uh, recruited into SAP uh, and for a telecom project, and I moved to Mumbai. And there, that's where I learned Brim. Uh, that's also uh, the place where Brim had just started its journey. So I spent four years doing the implementation of Brim over there. Then I moved to the North America, Canada. I was supporting another Brim customer, one of the oldest Brim customers ever. And then I spent about three years there supporting uh, that customer. Uh, after that, my career took me to the mothership out of uh, Germany, where in I was working on one of the largest uh, BRIM uh, implementations going on, and that was uh, internally in SAP. So SAP itself uses SAP. And then now I find myself back in North Am working for Bramasol, the BIM of Tar. Uh, I've put in some values. If you see, like you know, euro values, those are big values: twelve billion dollars, twenty-seven billion euros, seven billion dollars. So this is just to indicate that this is the revenue which was flowing through this Brim projects. So Brim initially was uh, designed or developed to handle large volumes, complex transactions, very complex business models, large customer bases. And this is the kind of revenues which flow through this installed BRIM implementations. Coming on to how BRIM has developed. So uh, back in 2000, 2007, 2008 timeframe, SAP made a strategic business decision to get into the telecom space and to also to come up in the billing and billing space. So it wanted to compete against Oracle and other providers. So it uh, in 2009, it bought a French company called as Hydeal for its charging system. And then it integrated it with its own uh, systems, with its uh, ECC, and it came up with the order to cash. That was the first name of Prim. It was called as order to cash, and it was an integrated solution. So the selling point, the USP of it was that it was an end-to-end -end integrated solution. Not many companies were giving that offering. Over a period of time, Brim has undergone many name changes. From order to cash, it was called as Brim. Then it was renamed as Hybris during the years when uh, it was positioned under a different business unit. It was known as Hybris Billing. And then uh, after 2018, the Hybris Billing name got changed back to Brim. And then now uh, it has continued its present avatar. From starting off as an on-premise solution, Brim has undergone many changes. Now it has, uh, it is available in the cloud, known as the Brim Cloud. Uh, it also uh, got new products uh, added to its portfolio. Subscription billing is a very popular product nowadays, and it was added in the 2017-2018 timeframe into the Brim product. And then, uh, with separate components, SAP integrated the uh, CRM and the billing systems into one, the uh, in the digital core from starting from the 1709 release. So conversion invoicing, accounting, uh, subscription order management became part in of one box. So that is a little overview of how Brim has uh, undertaken its journey and how it has grown over a period of many years. This is also to showcase that SAP has constantly been innovating and adding uh, new products and new facets to this solution. Now a little bit about what Brim is. A lot of people think that Brim as such is one solution. It's not. It, it is a combination, it's a portfolio of solutions. It has different components. And each of these components, the beauty of the solution is that they can also work standalone. 
So if you want to have a CRM, you can opt for solution order management. You don't need to take a charging solution or an invoicing solution. If you want an invoicing solution only, you can opt for convergent invoicing, and this will integrate well with any other standard uh, systems out in the market. So uh, when you take a BIM solution from SAP, all these solutions come pre-integrated, but if uh, needed as required for the project, they can also be installed and implemented in standalone modes and uh, without the other solutions and they can be integrated with third party solutions easily so if you look on the uh, bottom part of the screen that's what sap's on premise and the private cloud solution is so starting from the left hand side with the subscription order management so this is the key system for any kind of uh, solution uh, solutions and subscription lifecycle managements your SAP convergent charging box is responsible for any kind of usage, metering, charging, recurring charges, one-time charges, all that is possible in the convergent charging box. This is the erstwhile uh, high deal, which was rebranded as SAP convergent charging. The another interesting uh, product in this is the convergent mediation. So this is the only product in this whole portfolio, which is not actually developed by SAP. This belongs to another uh, Part, uh, SAP, uh, another company called as Digital Root, and this is integrated into the BRIM portfolio and sold as convergent mediation. Moving on, if you look under the billing and invoicing process, you have the convergent invoicing and FICA. So this is responsible for all your con customer lifecycle uh, finance management, your invoicing and your billing. Uh, then you have uh, this feeds into the uh, general ledger and controlling in the S4 HANA box and then also leading to revenue recognition. So this is what the on-premise solution is and this is all the blue boxes. If you look on the top part of the screen on the green boxes, so this is SAP's uh, cloud public cloud offering. So the components uh, are di different, but the functionality is more or less the same. So for subscription order management, the cloud version of it is called the S4 HANA cloud solution order. So this uh, more or less does the same functionality. It is the managing of solutions and managing of the solution order and order orchestration. It does uh, is done in the solu uh, S4 HANA solution order. The SAP subscription billing is kind of a lightweight CRM and with a charging system combined in one. So it is a substitute for convergent charging when a BRIM is sold in the cloud. Uh, and the usage, any kind of usage which has to be delivered to it is done by the convergent mediation box, uh, the cloud edition of it. And similar functionality of convergent invoicing and FICA is provided by the S4 HANA cloud uh, for contract accounting and invoicing. And the uh, uh, S4 HANA Cloud uh, provides also your general ledger controlling and revenue recognition. So the uh, this is a BRIM Cloud uh, public cloud version. The BRIM Cloud pub, uh, also there's another product called as the SAP Entitlement Management for managing all kind of entitlements. So this is a new product uh, which is added to the BRIM portfolio. And these all are uh, the entitled management and the subscription billing are based on the business transformation platform. So uh, let's take a uh, dive into the key uh, components of the BRIM portfolio. So the subscription order management is the, uh, the, the starting point of the BRIM solution, and it is responsible for managing all of the customer and product master data. It enables or end customer to offer all kinds of services, physical goods, digital services, projects, all of them can be combined into one order. So subscription order management or SOM in short also uh, does all kind of order fulfillment, orchestration of order fulfillment. It can create and handle complex product hierarchies and bundles. It is easily integratable with upstream quoting systems and downstreams charging, invoicing, field management systems, warehouses, data warehouses, etc. It is also responsible for all kind of contract lifecycle management, upsell of contract, resell of contracts, splitting of contracts, merging of contracts. All this is possible in the SOM box. 
also it enables data management by enabling all kind of requirements which is uh, relevant to a particular geography like you know security requirements privacy requirements all that is handled in the subscription order management box uh, if you see like you know uh, there are some like uh, functionalities which is described inside so like things like uh, product modeling price modeling document distribution this is basically the distribution of all the master data into the downstream systems. So this is a brief overview of the subscription order management. Now let's move on to the next uh, system, the convergent invoicing box. So SAP convergent invoicing is a central invoicing and revenue management platform. It can take in input uh, the billable items that's the key input into the conversion invoicing system is known as bits or billable items. So it can take in bits from any kind of charging system and an integrated BRIM solution implementation. It will be a SAP conversion charging box, but it can take in bits from any kind of uh, other systems also. It can uh, configure multiple billing cycles and you can have different billing periods, daily, quarterly, hourly, etc. Uh, it has in multiple processes, parallel processing capability, you can aggregate and group the bits based on, on the configuration required. You can do multiple uh, types of uh, discounts based on the volumes, based on uh, type of functionality. Different types of billings can be done, uh, mass billing, manual billing, billing in different phases, and also enables uh, re-billing and re-rating functionalities. It supports complex revenue sharing models with uh, partners. This is one of the key features of convergent invoicing. Uh, and along it, can, you can also integrate it with uh, convergent charging to enable really complex uh, partner sharing, revenue sharing models. And it is built to handle high volume and scalability for growing business models. So the convergent charging box, it's described in the diagram. You have the inputs coming from the left-hand side. Uh, from convergent charging is one example. It can be other charging systems, as I mentioned. Any kind of legacy rating systems, legacy billing systems, you can take in the data from there. And all of them can be combined into one single invoice. And this invoice can be, uh, once they are generated, they can be sent by different channels to the end customer, or they can be sent uh, down to a third party system for further invoice formatting. It feeds in, that's the main advantage of conversion invoicing and that it is closely integrated with SAP's financials. So it can do all kinds of receivable managements, processing, credit managements, dunnings, partner settlements, and it feeds in the data into the general ledger and controlling. Now coming into the convergent charging box. So convergent charging is a uh, the provides a simplified management of prices using the cockpit or the existing GUIs. It enables innovation with different kind of pricing and bundling uh, scenarios. It uh, enables rapid go to market product launches, uh, enabling customers to launch cross promotional offers or new services in a rapid configurable manner. It supports different payment strategies, meaning it can handle both uh, prepaid and postpaid kind of business models or hybrid business models. It reduces cost, reducing inefficiencies by enabling all kind of different payment models, postpaid, prepaid can be uh, configured on one platform. Similarly, recurring charges, one-time charges, user charges, all of them can be configured in one a system and we don't need different systems for different uh, kind of business models. It provides uh, easily uh, easy ease of scaling, has very low latency and provides uh, high nines availability and high throughput, which is uh, re required for high volume businesses and real time businesses like telecom. Okay. So this is what I had to cover about the Brim portfolio and deep dive into the uh, three main components of SAP Brim. Thank you for watching this webcast on SAP Billing and Revenue Innovation Management. Scan the QR code to access more details on the Bramasol website.